Wolves have won it! Wolves have won it! Wolves have won it! A quite incredible finish to a remarkable match! <laughs> so it's finally here, the first game back in the Premier League for Wolverhampton Wanderers against Everton at home, a massively anticipated game. We're going to go through some of the things that have been rumoured to be happening before the game in a minute. But don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to this channel for more regular up-to-date fan opinions on the Wolves as the season goes along this Premier League season very very exciting now just have a little look back at some of our first games back in the Premier League 2003 we lost 5-1 away from home at Blackburn Rovers a really really difficult game I remember it just seemed as if goal after goal after goal was going in if you can remember who scored the one goal for Wolves I'd be very impressed if you can remember please don't cheat and look on the internet but drop it in the comments down below who scored Wolves one goal on that day and then back in 2009, after being, after winning the championship and coming up, they lost 2-0 to West Ham at home. So hopefully we're going to have a better start to our new term in the Premier League. Now in Wolves' previous spell in the Premier League from 2009 to 2012, they failed to beat Everton in all six of those fixtures. But they did, however, beat them back in 2004 thanks to goals from Henri Kamara and Carl Court. Now, despite making a number of eye-catching signings on deadline day, Everton may not be able to field those players, Mina and Gomez in particular, whether they're fit or not, or whether they fit into the system, similar to what we're going to face with Dendonka at the moment as well. They would have only had today to train with the rest of their teammates, so it's unclear as to whether any of those will start. Jordan Pickford as well is a doubtful starter because of coming back from the World Cup in the last week or so so his fitness is a little bit in doubt. Now the only real question mark for me in the Wolves team would be the right centre back position. We saw Roman Sace start the last two friendly games in that position and struggle. I think eventually that will be where Dendonka plays however I can't see him starting there tomorrow I think it would be a little bit too early for him at the moment but I could see Ryan Bennett starting there he played really well in the second half last week against Villarreal and I think it would be the what the sensible decision to start him in the first game of the season and then perhaps change things for the Leicester game and going forward then. In terms of the game itself I think Wolves powerful attack is going to be difficult for Jagielka and Keane to deal with if it is those two start. If they do throw in Mina, I think they might be able to deal with it a little bit better. But I think the Wolves on the attack tomorrow are going to be dangerous. Jagielka's getting on a little bit now. Keane had a bit of a shaky season last season. And with the amazing atmosphere there's going to be tomorrow at Molyneux, it could be a difficult game for him to get into. Now Wolves, we're riding the crest of a wave having been promoted last year and having a fairly decent pre-season picking up some really pleasing victories against Young Boys and Basel and Ajax drawing against them and then beating Villarreal last week. We're doing really, really well. Whereas Everton in comparison, although you can't read too much into pre-season, since their big 22-0 victory have really struggled in pre-season. But the upheaval that they've had compared to our consistency and keeping the say, the core of the squad that got us promoted last year, making those deals permanent, which I talked about yesterday in the video, but just building on the successes of last season and adding some top, top quality players to the, to the core of the squad, we're going to have a great season. And it's important that we start tomorrow with a really impressive performance and hopefully a pleasing result as well. Now, pre-match, there's rumoured to be a £10,000 firework display and a flyover and clappers and all sorts of things to try and generate an exciting atmosphere. I don't think any of those things are required at the moment to create the atmosphere at Wolves. I've always said that if the performances on the pitch are pleasing, that's what's going to generate excitement in the crowd. And that's what we saw last season as well. With all that going on before the game, hopefully the players can live up to the anticipation that's been going on since the beginning of May when the season ended. And of course, Wolves lost their last league game against Sunderland 3-0 in a very, very disappointing performance. Those of you who went would have seen it as a uh, the players were certainly on the beach. And hopefully, we've seen that Wolves don't like losing consecutive games. I, they will do that this season, but hopefully it doesn't start off with consecutive defeats following on from last season. It's something that Nuno reiterated over the summer. We lost our last game. We always bounce back and they will be determined to do so. There is a little bit of a subplot, only a minor subplot, that Nuno was linked with the Everton job when Ronald Koeman was sacked back in October time, November time last season. 
So he'll be eager to show his worth as well in the Premier League. There's been some speculation as to whether he will be able to cope in the Premier League, but he's managed in top divisions across Europe, so I've got no doubt that he'll be successful this season. There's also a few question marks about Wolves' lack of Premier League experience. I personally don't think that's important because we've got players who've played in the Champions League and played massive international games. It's not as if Rui Patricio is going to think, oh my goodness, I'm now playing in the Premier League. That's different to the Champions League or to the, the Portuguese Premier League or whatever. These are top quality players and they're used to playing at the top level and their experience is going to push us on to be a comfortable mid-table team this year. Let me know your thoughts about tomorrow's game in the comments section down below. Please like and subscribe to the channel as well and I'll see you for a review after the game tomorrow evening. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. In it goes, whipped to the edge of the six-yard box. It was just over the top of Bolly. Comes out to Neves, flicks it up. It's on the volley! Oh! Oh, Ruben Neves! Ruben Neves with one of the greatest goals you will ever, ever see! That is simply, simply stunning!